Hi everyone, the Lethbridge Hurricanes are back on home ice this evening. The Canes welcome the Calgary Hitmen to town for their third meeting of the season. Once again, the Canes will look to their youth to provide a spark for them tonight. Daryl Rummel reports now on rookie standout McCoy or Camps. McCoy or Camps could be skating proof that dreams combined with hard work pays off. The 16-year-old has never doubted his ability on the ice. He came to camp willing to fight for every second of ice time. As the midway point of the season approaches, the kid who just wanted to make the team is playing on the top defensive pairing for the Lethbridge Hurricanes, averaging well over 20 minutes a night and playing in all situations. And he's played so much hockey for a 16-year-old at this level. I mean, he was playing 30, night, 30, 30 minutes a night in some games. That's tough for a 16-year-old playing against bigger, stronger players. But Are you where you thought you'd be at this point of the season? Uh, no, definitely not. Um, miles ahead of where I thought I'd be. Uh, I'm happy about it, but I just got to keep it going. Urkamps, like his team, has struggled at times, but at no time has he looked out of place. The coaching staff says they're not ready to call him a surprise, only to say they're extremely pleased with his development. Yeah, I am. Um, I've been really lucky and uh, today I thought I played pretty strong. You know, there's a couple of mistakes out there that I could improve on, but, you know, I got to work on those things and hopefully I'll come soon. Through his first 30 games in the Western Hockey League, Urkamps has a goal and nine assists and sits minus 17. His efforts are not going unnoticed either. He's been named to Team Pacific for the upcoming Under-17 Hockey Challenge. Urkamps says he prides himself on playing a physical game and providing an offensive push from the point something the Canes have missed in recent years. While he doesn't like to draw comparisons, McCoy Urkamps is on track to meet or exceed the first year totals of another former Hurricane and BC native in Brent Seabrook. In almost every category, in fact. And while those are big shoes to fill, if he can turn out to be even the least bit similar, that's good news for Hurricanes fans for years to come. Daryl Rummel, CTV Sports, Lethbridge. Watch, sponsored by Cummins Western Canada. Dependable parts and service every time. Thanks, Daryl. The Canes host Calgary tonight at the NMAX Centre at 7 o'clock. Also tonight, the Tigers host Red Deer. Last evening, the Rebels beat Kootenay 4-2 in Cranbrook. Team Canada announced 13 cuts this morning from its World Junior Hockey Club, including Tigers goalie Tyler Buns and Lethbridge native Brad Ross. Some tough news for them, for sure. But let's go back to last night. Team Canada Juniors took on a team made up of CIS players from Lethbridge and Calgary. Canada in white scoring here on the power play. Tyler Toffoli made it 1-0. He got cut today, too. The CIS All-Stars replied with a power play goal of their own Lethbridge Pronghorns captain Dustin Moore doing the honors tipping at home it was 1-1 at that point and then the University boys made it 2-1 here just 61 seconds later Taylor Gal of the Pronghorns slipped it by Buns another power play goal they led after one period of play the barrage of power play goals continued in the second period Nathan Boylow tied things up at two just four minutes into the middle frame five minutes later we had our first non-power play goal of the game Philip Deneau whipped a one-timer in from the slot on the rush past Scott Wedgwood and the juniors led 3-2 then Deneau scored another goal here as he banged one in from in tight. That made it 4-2 for Team Canada, but Deneau got cut as well. It was 5-2 after two for the juniors. A great showing from the Horns contingent. Gal finished the night with two goals. More with one. 7-4 was the final for the Team Canada juniors. Calgary Flames were in Nashville last night to begin a four-game road trip, and Nashville opened the scoring here in the first period. Brian McGratton, the former Flame, fired at the net. Mika Kippersoff made the save. Matt Halischuk batted it out of the air and the Preds led 1-0. Second period, Curtis Glencross took matters into his own hands here as he skated right in and lifted a backhand behind Pecorine with four defenders around him. 1-1 the score. Now third period, Preds with the man advantage. The shot, the save, the rebound buried by Colin Wilson right there. A power play goal, his eighth of the campaign. Nashville led 2-1 and that was the final score. Jackie Flames are in Tampa Bay tomorrow.